Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. And this is now they appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. And that gets things running. Gets into a dangerous position. Philip. Gets it back. Out for a throw. Goes for the cross. Asmoon drives it forward. Malcolm. Asmoon drives it forward. That's a brilliant interception. Oh, chance! Tries to get it forward quickly. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas. Oh, no question, that's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. In for a header! And that's been one straight back. Drilled in low. Shot at goal! There it is! The breakthrough strike! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Dynamo Moscow take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Malcolm. Receives it in a good position. And the finish! Forward it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Lovren. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. 
He knows what's coming. A second yellow, and he's off. The player's protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. What a save! Terrific reactions! Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. Absolutely terrific. Terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. They've played it short. Out of play for a goal kick. Hoist it forward. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Asmoon brings the ball forward. Juba. Oh, he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Asmoon. And there's a long ball. Defending of the desperate variety. And it's Rakitsky. It's a good looking cross. Up to meet it! Two elements have been Philip gets into a dangerous position. And the half time whistle goes. So there you have it a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. And the second half gets on the way. Zenit St. Petersburg need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experience... Hits one! Oh, it's gone in! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. It's being played forward. Brings it forward. Looking to Philip! Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. And it's played forward. Rakitsky battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. 
that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Played towards the front men. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Dynamo Moscow getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. Juba. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He's gone for it! And that's off target. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Gets a good foot in there. Hoists it forward. Juba. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Zenit St. Petersburg merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Played in with accuracy. Dinamo Moscow showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. So there's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. This is intriguing. Next goal, critical. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. Lovren. Zhirkov. Juba. Zhirkov. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So it's ended in a draw, craft and graft, and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest, and a result which at least...